Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Not to a 5M. Well, kind of, it's kind of a 5M video, but not too much. Today, I will be showing you guys how to port forward your own server. Meaning, like, when you port forward your server, other people would be able to join. I'm gonna do it locally. As of right now, showing you an, ext an extraction how to do it, but it's still the same as logging into a VPS. It's the same process. So, what you guys are gonna do? First of all, before we start, I know I haven't been active on YouTube. I've been trying to post better content, but hopefully, I saw my last video did pretty well on the views. I appreciate the support, and today I will be showing you guys how to port forward your service. So smash that subscribe button and like, give it a like, and if you enjoy my content, leave a comment below. Well, other tutorials you would guys like to see. So, so we're gonna port forward your server. So. The first thing you're gonna do is search up on your computer Windows. Windows, and it's gonna say Windows Defender Firewall with the fan security. Is it this one? Yep, that's correct. Okay, so let's make this like this. Okay, so you guys are gonna go into inbound rules and then you're gonna make a new rule port next. Okay, we're gonna do TCP. Okay, specify local ports that you're gonna have them there. For TCP, we're gonna do 3110 slash 3120. Next, allow this connection. Make sure it's on allow this connection. Next, yes, I'll check all of those names. I just name it 5M like this. Finish. Okay, and then we're gonna make another room, and it's gonna be for UTP, yes, okay, and it's the same 3110, 3120. Next, allow this connection. Next, next, and then I just name it 5M as I mentioned. Same process, okay. Now, when you're done, we're almost done. It should only at least take five to five minutes for you, it shouldn't take that long, okay. So that's done, and then we'll go to outbound rules, okay, and it's the same process. New rule. For TC for TCP is gonna be the same again as I mentioned 3110 3120 next allows the connection it's not gonna it's gonna plug this connection make sure it's on allows the connection next next 5m okay and the new row again and then port UTP 3110 3120 next allow this connection next next 5m and finish and you're pretty much done that's all you need to port forward and then once you port forward it doesn't mean like oh i can play the game now and my friends can join now you need to add all these files i'll leave the last video on how to um how to install um, how to make your own 5M server and if you guys would like I can show you guys how to develop a whole vmany server if you guys would like which I'm currently selling right now on my discord server um, if you guys are interested in joining I can go over there I can help you I, I'm more than welcome to help you um, what else was I gonna say it's vmany custom it comes with a bunch of scripts I'm gonna show you guys in game right now what it comes with and I'll see you guys there